Hello everybody, welcome back to the video where today we are here with a type of unique video. Now, this topic was covered by Mumbo Jumbo uh, a few years back, four years specifically. Now, some things have changed including new designs for elevators, so I'm here to give new numbers. Anyway, I'll leave a link to the uh, original topic idea, and all credit of this topic goes to Mumbo Jumbo. First, starting off is the ladder. I will have the numbers displayed on screen because I'm adding them after edit. Now, I'm using 50 blocks as the scale for all of these tests. So yeah, please keep that in mind. Now the ladder is definitely extremely slow, and yes, quite slow. Now of course keep in mind that these numbers are not exactly accurate. Okay, second test is the water elevator. Now this definitely increases the speed of the elevator, I can't speak English, the elevator by a lot. And I have shaders on which makes this extremely cool now this this water elevator ladder combination is quite unique and the stairs okay let me actually do a proper test the stairs is definitely uh, not very let's just say uncommon choice it's a very common choice it's quite easy to build and please ignore the, the big holes in the middle but yeah I mean it's not the most uncommon choice but it also takes a lot of concentration to do if you if you are good at climbing upstairs and go for it it's not exactly too fast and also keep in mind that if you want to go even higher you will have to eat food now the fourth one I would like to call the Minecraft Clicky Simulator. Let me demonstrate. I'm here. It This design is definitely quite fast and it honestly depends on your clicking speed. So be sure to click as fast as you can. Now the nether portals are also very fast. I'll display the numbers on the screen. But unfortunately, I was not able to get the nether portal working. But either way, it will take the number on the screen to travel. And if you want to co cover long distances, this is also the way to go. And yes, I didn't make the nether portal actually work. So please call me a Minecraft professional. Just kidding, I'm bad. This one is, I mean, it uses ender pearls based, basically, it literally says on the edit. Now, I have Feather Falling 4 because this elevator do, will take damage. So, it is best recommended if you have Feather Falling Boots. Now, also, I have not mastered this, so my time is probably very inaccurate. It's still pretty fast if you actually master it. Basically, you shift, you shift and then throw the pearl. Now, this one is the new soul sand water elevator. Not exactly new, but it's relatively new. And this one is added in 1.13. And it's also extremely fast. And with shaders, it looks extremely cool. Oh, that may have not been a very smart choice, but either way, let's end this video off with a boom. TNT launcher based off Mumbo Jumbo's video. Now, TNT launchers will not damage you in survival creative. Uh, survival, it will not damage you if you have peaceful mode on, which I do. 
Normal mode, I don't think you're gonna survive this. So it's not really practical, but honestly, who who doesn't love TNT launchers? Anyway, I will end off. Okay, I just died again. I'm professional. I'm uh, definitely a very professional Minecrafter. Anyway, I'll end off the video here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. And also, please know I'm still figuring out my controls for PC recording. Now, if you like this type of video, please give a like. If, and if you disliked it, then leave a dislike. Anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.